Okay, so welcome back. I'm Sharif, and uh, as you can see, as you saw on the um, the last jam, um, I'm just going to quickly show you um, what actually I've done with those two um, old modules. Um, so the first one on the top, um, I've loaded this thing called um, PLG, which is um, oh, sorry PGL, which is the pitch grain looper, and it's uh, it's basically a glitch effect. And then the second one, I've loaded the TX delay, which is the um, um, time, the, the crossfading delay. So um, basically, let me just show you how each one sounds. So let me play, start playing with the, um, the, the, the basic loop that I made with my modular box. So yeah, it's just a typical, you know, just a hi-hat kick and uh, some weird blips and noises. And let me just turn up the, um, the mix of the um, PGL first. Then I'm just going to twiddle. There you go. So, okay, so what each knob does on each thing, so obviously the D is the, your mix, and then knob A is your pitch, and then knob B is your loop start position, and if it goes past 12 o'clock, it started to um, go reverse in the playback direction, so you can have more sort of variety. And then um, knob C is your um, loop length, so as you turn it up higher and higher, the, the loop length becomes shorter and shorter. And gets more glitchier. And also um, those two um, modules have the um, push um, inputs and they basically when you tap the push input or feed the clock into it, um, it syncs to your clock so um, you can get more sort of um, time synced glitches which is much more fun. And uh, also um, the, the those four knobs on the bottom, this is your um, CV attenuator. So you can actually feed, as, a, as you can see, I'm doing it with like loads of different like LFOs and envelopes from everywhere. Um, you can basically feed any modulation source and then you can basically attenuate it so you can have more sort of automated um, performance if you want to like this. Okay, so let's just move on to the second one. Um, I'm just going to turn this one clean and so the second one is a TX delay and uh, when I say crossfading delay what it means is um, so inside the um, patch there's uh, basically two delay taps and what it what I'm doing is uh, what it's doing is basically the every time you change the time the the delay time will be updated on one of the taps and then crossfade it into that new time so this way you don't have any sort of glitches or pitch shifting as you change the delay time and that's kind of unusual delays because loads of delays in the market right now that's that sort of tape delay kind of pitch shifting functions so let's hear how it sounds so again the knob d is your mix and then so knob a is your delay time knob b is your feedback and knob c is your dumping and again, um, this patch also receives the um, push, um, so you can tap it with your hand, or you can again feed the clock, um, and you can get a completely time synced delay. And as you, like you can see, I'm changing the time, and it never have any glitches or pitch shifts. So you can have your really clean in time delay fun with it. Uh, we actually designed the feedback to not to go over hundred percent but you can always um, open up the patch and do more crazy things like, you know, clipping it and then, you know, so you can go over one and you get this like a crazy, you know, gnarly feedback if you want to. So yeah, have fun with it. Um, and right, so um, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, um, please give us a shout and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you.